Yeah, I haven't had any scoops yet. And, uh, no. I'm bound and determined before I leave to get some. This guy, by the way, um, back in the early days, before many of you guys knew that we were filming on the square, so we could just like run around on patrol. You know, they'd be like, all right, be back in 15. We'd run into scoops. Chirino would buy like $200 worth of stuff. I'm not kidding. And not, not, not as gifts, mind you, for himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true, I got sweet too. Not for like everything, it's just like dark chocolate, some chocolate that I gotta get. Well, cause they had dark chocolate covered pretzels. Give it, give it. Oreos, send it. Um, you know, just, and it's good and I just wipe them out. Because like we would, we would sh at the time that we'd shoot out here maybe every other week, if that. So it wasn't all the time. So I knew when I was out here, it's time to stock up. So, yeah. yeah. I, I heard that you you have some obsession with cookies? I do. What, like, what is this cookies with Serino? Because I've heard of it before and I'm very confused. That sounds like your podcast. I do it. Cookies with Serino's a podcast. Imagine. Um, uh, I just, you know, I, I just, I love cookies. Cookies are my thing. Oh, you know what it is? Okay, this is honestly what it is. I think because, at, um, especially during work, whether it's catering or crafty, like throughout the day, you know, they have an assortment of snacks for us and chips and apples and bananas. And I think I would always just take the cookies, whatever was available there, I'd swipe out all the cookies. And then at lunch, they usually have a dessert part of the, you know, lunch area. And I would just take the majority of the cookies that were available. Um, I just, I'm addicted to the cookies, you know? I just can't get another. What's your favorite cookie? Chocolate chip. I mean, chocolate chip, but like, what can we chocolate, chocolate chip? From where, though? You know, it's, it depends. Oh, wow. Yeah, what yeah. brand of cookie? Is this yeah, like chips what's the brand? Kind of, I'm, I'm, I, Have look, you ever I had love, Miss Fields? Miss look, Fields cookies? What is it, Miss Fields? Miss Fields cookies? Yeah, it's a little OG. It's a little old school. I don't know. Oh, I like yeah. the Tate's cookies. Um, if, uh, do you like if a moist I, cookie or a dry cookie? If I'm eating uh, ice cream, That's I like Pepperidge bro. Farm Mint Milano cookies <laughs> because I like to, come on, you, guys, you know what I'm talking uh. about. I like to eat two of those scoop of ice cream. Two of those scoop of ice cream. Uh. <laughs> and, uh, and I just, is, is it just two and then you put it away like... It's just me by myself in my underwear in front of the TV. <laughs> just sadly eating by myself with a pint of ice cream. That's really what it is. That's not what And what's the ice cream? A uh, Haagen-Dazs uh, chocolate with chocolate chip. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> So you hate chocolate, is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. It's, Bro! <laughs> chocolate. Yeah, dude, just it's a chocolate just fiend. Chocolate fiend. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah, that's good. That's me. <laughs> I think a lot of people felt like, um, Trevino, that your character kind of got cheated because he died. I cheated all my life. I know. Like, I think, I think a lot of people felt like you, like you should have lived maybe at the end. That, like, you know, do you, do you feel like your character went out in the way you wanted it to, or? Um, that uh, you probably, uh, you know, I, I uh, towards the end of the towards the end of the season coming back and forth and in and out and Tyler, is he dead? Is he gone? Oh, all of a sudden he's back. Weird. Um, all of a sudden he's naked in the cave. Yeah, like what's happening here? Uh, I think going out with the way that Damon took me out, I thought I wanted something a bit more, but I, I get it. They had to wrap up the, all of our storylines at the end there, but I think he could have lived. I think he could have lived and then went off to the, to the mountains, just kind of getting lost, start a little family. Wait, so you didn't live? No. Did he? I don't know. I guess I'll have to go back. No, no. In my Damon, mind, you always did. Damon kills you. No, Damon kills me. Right, he fucked right in the neck. Goes there. Of, of I think course. that's. I think that's the cold open, as they say. <laughs> Which season was this? <laughs> the last one. Man. <laughs> I mean, Damon killed me too, though. No. Yeah. <laughs> then how the hell were you? Like seven times. Because he had the ring. He had the ring. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Ring. This is, of course, you can still come back because sure, no one's world. ever really dead in this, uh, yeah. in this universe. <laughs> Matt, what, what what's it been like for you? Because you know you're really the one person that has been, you know, in each version. Outlasted us all. This guy can't be killed. Can't you know, be I know, down. I know a few people I'm made. King of this hill. <laughs> I know people made cameos kind of here and there, but you were main cast all the way through. So well, you know, it was you know it was interesting because I did come in on episode eight of season one, 
and I was supposed to just do four episodes, and then it just kind of rolled into all of the, this, you know, just following a large <laughs> narrative. You know, and when the show had ended, when Vampire ended, you know, people had were buzzing about maybe doing the spinoff, and then Julie just asked me, she's like, yeah, "Would you be interested in, in doing it? You know, like let's, you know, keep keep the light on, you know, keep it keep it going." And it sounded like a good idea, and it just, you know, kind of went in that direction. You know, I just kept saying yes, you know, and it, that just took me on a, a 13 year long long journey, which has been uh, a remarkable experience for me. It's been such a blessing and a once in a lifetime opportunity. I remember calling and on my last day of Legacies and I'm just like, dude, I think this is it. I think this is my last scene. And he was just like, man, I'm just focus in on all the good memories. Just remember all the good times. He's like, this is like we have gone on a journey, just our little tight circle, like very few people get to experience it. And we've experienced it together. And it's a very magical, beautiful thing. And so for me, it's just kind of, you know, just part of the, the tapestry of this, 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 this thing that we've all been a part of and it's been very special to us and to our fans. Um, I don't know where I'm going with all of no, this. No, I, no, I, no, you're right on the money because it's, it's like, especially in a world where before there was just comic cons, but now these conventions, not only for the type of genre Vampire Diaries is, but there's conventions for all types of different shows now. And... Um, the fact that we're still, thanks to you guys, honestly, attending these, being a part of these communities with these conventions, we're able to, um, you know, still relive these moments, talk about these moments, it lives on. And, and it's at a time where, you know, if the streamers didn't exist, I don't know if we'd be doing these because it'd be like maybe just the reruns. But now there's a new generation of fans that are getting hip to Vampire Diaries and people that, uh, you know, fans that were my age, now their children are watching it, and so it's just, it's going on and on, and it's really, Dude, really... Dude, so I gotta just say, on Legacies, I was like the only adult working <laughs> with this, the this sea of children, and, <laughs> and, and, and I love them dearly, I love them dearly, but like, one of my co-stars was like, my mom loves the show so much. I was like, oh, that's cool, like, that's cool, how old's your mom? Uh, she's your age. She's 42. I was like, how old are you? <laughs> In their 20s, and I was like, I could be your father. I could be your father. <laughs> Anyhow. And action. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah.